relationship melody presence 30 signs he likes you but is afraid of getting hurt so if you're wondering your guy wants to approach you but is afraid then i highly recommend to watch this video only if you want a happy relationship so let's get started sign number one guarded emotional responses he often responds with caution or reservation when discussing emotional topics, fearing vulnerability and potential heartbreak. Sign number two, slow to share personal information. He takes time to open up and share personal details about his life, as he wants to protect himself from potential emotional pain. Sign number three, analyzes past relationships. He frequently reflects on past relationships, examining what went wrong and learning from those experiences to avoid repeating the same mistakes. Sign number four, hesitant to label the relationship. He avoids labeling your connection or putting a specific title on your relationship, fearing that it may lead to heightened expectations and potential disappointment. Sign number five, maintains emotional distance. He keeps a certain emotional distance to protect himself, not fully investing or allowing himself to get too close to avoid the risk of getting hurt. Sign number six, fear of rejection. He has a deep fear of rejection, which prevents him from fully expressing his feelings or making a move, as the potential for rejection feels overwhelming. Sign number seven, slow progression in the relationship. He takes things slow in the relationship, wanting to build a strong foundation and ensure compatibility before fully investing his heart. If you have watched the video till here, you can support us on Patreon. We have provided the link in the description. So, let's continue with our video. Sign number eight, difficulty trusting others. He struggles with trust, as past hurts have made him cautious about opening up and relying on someone else for emotional support. Sign number nine, fear of abandonment. He has an underlying fear of being abandoned or left behind, causing him to proceed with caution to protect himself from potential heartache. Sign number 10, overanalyzes interactions. He overanalyzes your interactions, dissecting every word and action, afraid of misreading signals or investing too much emotion without reciprocation. Sign number 11, seeks reassurance. He may seek reassurance from you or require constant validation of your feelings, needing that extra assurance to feel secure in the relationship. Sign number 12, keeps an exit strategy. He subconsciously keeps an exit strategy or backup plan in case the relationship doesn't work out, as a way to protect himself from being completely vulnerable. Sign number 13, tests your loyalty. He may unintentionally test your loyalty or commitment pushing boundaries to see if you will stick around through challenges and uncertainties. Sign number 14, fear of intimacy. He struggles with intimacy, both emotional and physical, fearing the potential pain that can come from being deeply connected to someone. Sign number 15, reluctant to make future plans. He hesitates to make concrete plans for the future, fearing the uncertainty and potential disappointment if things don't go as expected. Sign number 16, protective of emotional space. He guards his emotional space, setting boundaries to protect himself from getting too emotionally invested or hurt. Sign number 17, mixed signals. He may send mixed signals, expressing interest one moment and pulling back the next, as he grapples with his fear of getting hurt. Sign number 18, difficulty expressing vulnerability. He finds it challenging to express vulnerability, often deflecting or avoiding deep emotional conversations, fearing the potential pain that comes with it. Sign number 19, emotionally reserved. He remains emotionally reserved not fully letting his guard down or revealing the depth of his feelings as a protective measure. Sign number 20, fear of losing independence. He values his independence and fears that being in a committed relationship may compromise it, leading to a reluctance to fully invest emotionally. Sign number 21, slow to introduce to family and friends. He takes time before introducing you to his family and close friends, wanting to ensure the relationship has a solid foundation before exposing you to significant people in his life. Sign number 22, overprotective of boundaries. He may be overly protective of his personal boundaries, setting strict limits to prevent potential emotional harm or disappointment. Sign number 23, fear of being vulnerable first. He hesitates to be the first one to show vulnerability or express deeper emotions 
fearing that he may not receive the same level of openness in return. Sign number 24, fear of emotional dependency. He fears becoming emotionally dependent on someone else, and therefore maintains a certain level of distance to preserve his independence. Sign number 25, prefers surface level interactions. He may prefer surface level interactions in small talk, avoiding deeper conversations that could lead to emotional investment and potential pain. Sign number 26, reluctant to share past hurt. He is hesitant to share past experiences of emotional pain or heartbreak, guarding those memories as a way to shield himself from future hurt. Sign number 27, self-sabotaging behavior. He may engage in self-sabotaging behavior, pushing you away or creating unnecessary conflicts as a means to protect himself from potential heartache. Sign number 28, fear of losing the friendship. He may value your friendship so much that he's afraid to risk it by expressing romantic feelings, afraid of potential rejection and losing the connection altogether. Sign number 29, tries to control emotions. He attempts to control his emotions and maintain a sense of emotional detachment in an effort to protect himself from the pain of unrequited love or heartbreak. Sign number 30, avoids vulnerable situations. He actively avoids situations that may make him vulnerable such as romantic gestures or intimate conversations, to shield himself from potential hurt or rejection. That's it. I hope you liked the video. Please hit the like and subscribe button to motivate me create more videos for you. See you then and thank you for watching.